What's up, everybody? That's right here with more Tales of Arise. Um, the last couple episodes, we completed the last Arvin second dungeon and got another. I can't even remember what it's called. One of those little ball things. Um, this one compared to light. And we got another party member, Law, which is Zephyr's son. And who, as you saw, Zephyr got captured and we had to go and rescue him. But he died. So yeah. But we wrench his death. We have Law part of our party and Rinwell decided to stay with us and we are headed to our new area. Um, we were supposed to head to Eld uh, Manasia, which I'm assuming is where the question marks are. Um, we also did some side quest stuff. We cleared up what was on the map. The only ones we have are in Calaglia, which is the dude with the outfits. He still hasn't changed his stuff, so we can't do that one yet. And the other one's that one, um, and I mean, it's like level 43, which we cannot do yet either. So, yeah. So, we're going to continue on here, and we got a sub quest here. So, do that on our way. But, yeah. Anyways, let's go. And we got this brand new armor for our main dude here. Where does that drawbridge connect to? No idea. But I've seen it get lowered. It can't be lowered from this side anyway. So, it's useless to us. Useless. Alright. It's been a few days since I played this, so. Let's see if I remember the controls. Am I dodging again? Looks like it could be worth something. I guess I'll find these guys first. Go no further. Freaking destroyed. There's always room for improvement. All right. Oh shit. Go no further. I like that that attacks like AOE, so if the other guys are close by, it pretty much fucks them up lifting. too. for you. Very nice. Take a look at it. Of 
a lot of fish swimming around in this pond, huh? Are they edible? Sure, they're edible, but we've got no way to catch any. Yep, can't fish yet. I wonder Where if something happened. Is this owl? Oh, there it is. More glasses. Half frames. The owl sounds superior to shit. One of your buddies. What's wrong? Hey, are you okay? Uh, Shion, we've got to get this guy first aid. I'm hungry. Shion, we've got to get this guy a potato. Really? What? Hey, that's mine. Ah! <laughs> you think I'd stoop so low to set the measly potato? Think again. Sure. That's how you want to act fine. Star for all I care. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't even got to introduce myself, young miss. <laughs> I am Gordeno, a man who enjoys food above all else. I've come here in search of new and exciting cuisines. To that end, I have come across what appears to be a most exquisite recipe. However, I lack the ingredients needed to make it. I'm impressed nobody ever turned this guy in. I became so hungry in my search that I collapsed. Hey. You should really f take this potato, then. Ah! Forget it. I refuse to eat anything other than what's contained in this recipe. Right. Well, you heard him. He's a lost cause. Let's go. I'm not done speaking to you. Could I perhaps ask you to bring me these ingredients instead? All I need are apples and wheat. Find me those and I'll even teach you my recipe. We have what you right. need. Nice. In that case, I need you to follow this recipe here and bake me an apple pie right away. What? What? Why do I have to make it? Hey! Hurry up and bake it. <clears throat> Here you go. It's all done. I made enough for Shion, too. Ah. Oh, look at that beautiful dish. It smells just as divine, too. Now, to see how it tastes. What? Whoa, this, this is absolutely exquisite. I'm in heaven. <sighs> You're a foodie. Aren't you supposed to be more articulate in describing how things taste? But what else is there to say about it? Absolutely nothing. But if you need me to spell it out, it's absolutely... <sighs> We get it. It's good. Alfin, we've got a recipe. Let's get out of here already. Shion. Shion, wait. What is it? Your clothes are covered in pie dough. What? Very nice. I feel completely and utterly satisfied. I can leave this realm with no regrets. <laughs> it's time I leave in search of even greater cuisines. For where are my culinary comrades? I have a feeling that um, that quest might be like recurring. Where we see that guy Boy, in the other areas too. Boy, old man. I can't wait to see him again. You really liked yeah. that apple pie, didn't you? She scarfed it down. Made a mess. I, I need her pie. Out. Wait, what'd that guy say? If you go past here, you'll connect to an old path beneath the mountains that goes past the border. Just be careful. It's cold and dark along there. I could make this, but it's shit. So, no. Um, should I buy more heals? Ooh, new armor. Weak armor. You know what? I'll buy a couple. Alright, so... Let's go this way first, to the dead end. Magic is 
Seems like changing um, the characters that are stronger against certain enemies actually works really well. Kind of makes playing as the other characters useful. Whereas, like in the other games, you could switch to them too in the other Tales games, but it's kind of like, what was the point? Should I rest? Probably. Maybe we'll get one of those other bonding scenes. I guess even someone as fashionable as you wouldn't know a whole lot about Dan and armor, right? Not really, no. Like, what's with that scarf? I don't remember that being with any of the armor off we found back there. Oh, well, remember how you told me you thought I'd look good wearing some blue? I took your advice to heart and decided to give it a go. Uh, oh, I see. Well, it suits you. Would you say I've learned to spruce things up like you suggested? I wouldn't go that far. Uh, I don't think we need to cook. Ooh, who should we bond with? I've already bonded with these two. Let's do Law. Mind if I join you, Law? Hey, Alfin. When do you find the time to train? What's brought this on all of a sudden? It's just even without the blazing sword, although you'd still when be we able bonded to hold your own, right? Seen. But I never see you train it. I'd hardly call it a regimen, unless exchanging blows with Zugals counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day, but you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. Wait, I've got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... <sighs> just calm down a little, would you? Why are you so fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renan soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone again. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law! Uh, uh, sorry. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by, doing the best we can. That's all we can ask of each other, right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. And what better way to kick it off than push-ups? One, two, three, four... <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. All right. I'll take guard duty tonight. It's fine. I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. Actually, the one thing I want to check... like my hands aren't responding anymore. It's because they're cold. Just a natural reaction. Oh, that's it, all right. Oh, that's why it showed up. So it would have been the scene with whoever I decided to talk to. Rinwell, huh. mind if we chat a little? Maybe I will leave the glasses on. Kinda Let like me know it. if you sense anything. Another day, another gold. I wonder if you still bond a bit, even though you don't get a scene. All right. 
Safar Sea Cave. Uh, law? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just a little travel weary is all. Looking forward to finally getting out of here, you know? Still beating yourself up about your dad, aren't you? <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But that's not what I was just thinking about. Oh? I never did tell you how I ended up hanging around with the Snake Eyes, did I? Not properly. All I know is you had a falling out with your dad and ran away from home. Getting to Cislodia almost killed me. Once there, though, I actually ended up joining a resistance organization, believe it or not. Of course, before long, someone ratted us out. And we were ambushed by the Snake Eyes. I'd never seen such brutality. If I hadn't surrendered... Law? I don't know why. They let me live. They made me watch as they butchered my friends right in front of my eyes. I still have nightmares. I hear roars of Zoogles as my friends scream. The snow stained red with blood. And all the while, those bastards laughing. I thought that with Ganabelt defeated, I'd be able to put it all behind me. Turns out that was a little optimistic. I was terrified they would kill me too. So I wound up betraying the memory of my friends, then getting my old man killed in the process. I wonder if I'm any braver now. What if one day I panic again, and end up running away like always? And leave us behind? You really think you'd do that? I hope not. But who's to say what I'm really capable of? Ah! Oh, I found you! Something wrong, Rinwell? How very perceptive of you! When I turned around, you were gone, so we came back to look for you! Maybe tell us next time you decide to stop? We need all our manpower to face these Zoogles. Jeez, okay. I can't help it when nature calls, can I? Nature? Ew, gross! Here? Let's make tracks, shall we? I hope he makes it through this. You invited him along. He's your liability. He's Zephyr's son, Shion. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him? Fine. Just don't come crying to me about it, alright? I've got enough deadbeats slowing me down as it is. <laughs> Why did people dig this path so far underground? Maybe it was too dangerous on the mountains for them to traverse over them. So you're saying that before Dana was conquered, Danans made this so that they'd have a way to get through the mountains? If I had to guess, they might have even lived inside of these once upon a time. Not like there's any way of knowing now. Not after all our history was lost. No, it wasn't lost. It was stolen from us by the Renans because they thought slaves didn't need it. And because keeping it around would have made it harder to control us. <laughs> it's not all gone. Look at that over there. What is it? It looks like a broken piece from a dish or something. Probably. It's true the Renans erase a lot of our history. But if we look hard enough, I think we'll find there's still plenty of it left. But first, we have to win the freedom to even look for it. We'll win it all right. Then we'll reclaim our history. <laughs> Okay. Let's go ahead. New enemies. What the hell are these things? No Boomy. This one probably cancel the flying Please. enemy. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Searing and now Flare to the The tide of battle has turned. That's the power of comrades in arms. Comrades in arms. Astral energy. Say no more.
That astral energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had. Now, the question is, which one should I go down? Probably the ladder, because I can't get up the other way. Whoops. I guess Mathia is the first place we met. Hala. Yeah, I was a snake eye and you were a silver sword. Who would have thought we'd end up on the same team? You make an odd pair, it's true. You guys are the odd ones, running with a Renin. Um, maybe I will drop instead. I think we're just gonna end up in the same spot. In the water. Flatfish. I mean, I'm assuming there is fishing in this game, but it's kind of weird that you can swim and pick some up too. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. All right, let's fuck up these crab dudes. Shell shock. Alright, so they seem to have hard barriers, so. You. Oosh. Paralyzed. Shut him down. Ah, he hit me. Try to do a little uh, mystic guard. With this, I can become even stronger. I didn't go down that, that way. Alright. These guys are just like talking to each other or some shit. when you can send them flying. Oh, 
something big? Astral energy! Say no more! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Onward and upward. Alright. There's a chest. I'm not gonna jump from up here. Oh, whoops. Ooh, hello. Now you see what I can do. What? What is happening? I'm ready for the next battle. Ah, there we go. Grab this. Shrooms. Hi, Hoodle. Where are you going? You're finished. Sweet mouth. It's all about this. I like that one. Just pointing it out. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more coming. Cut them apart to your heart's content. We matter. Let me get rid of. I 
Tear down. Black Onyx. It's still that raises max HP. Oh, uh, this looks nice and tough. Is this useful for anybody right now? Actually, yes. But. Probably smarter to put on to a uh, attacker. Close combat, dude, at least. Uh, this one. Not these in orange gel. Let's uh, just save for a rest point up here. Get lost! You guys. Damn. Guess we better be extra careful. Alright, uh, let me do one more battle and then I'll heal. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Too much healing. I could probably keep this guy's ass too. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. Any more of this, and I'll burn out. I don't know why I always hit hers. I just push up all the time. I think she's up. Alright, um, should I drop or should I go down the ladder? Oh shit. All this I guess we're dropping. Up and down is a pain. Yeah, I wish we could just go straight through without all this hassle. On the other hand, the class parts let you reach some places you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Ooh. Now that you mention it. Let's look at those gargoyle dudes. not gonna come down on us, is it? It just might. Or 
Maybe these guys won't come to life. Who's a big group? Together, that wasn't even a problem. A lot of more here. Primor. Oh, there we go. Ow! I'll pick you all up. Dragon Force. Here's the evil in here. Let's 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 Work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. And uh, looks like equipment for law. Nice. Some solid equipment. Hello. Go, uh, no all alone. a blip on our radar. Let me look at law real quick. Um, this one. Let's do. Tectonic punch. That by a mile. Wait, can I go in the water here? Um, Break 
break something here? No. Like how it like, alternates too. And what about without them? The uh, uh, characters. More stoppable. Alright. So this is where I drop down. The hell does the cave lead? Ooh, a chest. Ooh, shit. Boost speed and reduce the time it takes to flee. Hey, that looks pretty good. Eh. It's okay. I wonder if I should change her art. If I ever switch to her, I probably don't need her to heal. Take it off. Throws a bomb. This one all pretty much is gonna depend on what they're weak to. Keep fire, I guess, for now. Your blasts. Kinda lack like Magna Ray though. Hey Law. Back when we left Sisladen. You remember how you said, so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. <sighs> Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. 
back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master. Of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized, no matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Brennan brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing. Fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. We may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break. Oh, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. I need some sun. When I get in a tussle, I go full force right tussle? at Tussle? Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow. I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense, but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Renwell. It's just... Maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? No! Okay, it's not creepy! Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. Shio don't care. Um, a stream says I'm dropping frames, but it's nothing bad. Cause the quality still says it's good. And the recording's still good, so... At least the upload to YouTube will be fine. Should be. And we're out of the cave. I think Hoodle senses something. So I think every time you go to a new screen and the owl jumps out like that, it means there's an owl in the area. So that's good to know. Alright, so where are we now? Overseer Hill. Oh, we're in the new area. Manasea. Good view. We're finally here. Elda Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. 
unsullied fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. <laughs> what? No, oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. That's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Shion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is... incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Yeah, we're finally in an area that looks normal. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. Okay, third region. But so more if skits. I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy, and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. That's a good question. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. Hmm. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? <laughs> Fucking Al was all sad. Fucking Hoodle. Alright, so these guys are still here. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Your power is a spectacle to behold. I'm not trying to be dramatic with it. Still, it's a part of you. Embrace it. You're most comfortable at a range, aren't you? I'm not really built for close quarters combat, nor am I. Get toasty! Burn strike! That's quite the technique. You need me, I'm there. Marks. <sighs> I really have to hurry. What's wrong? <clears throat> My buddy's got hurt real bad. They can't even move. That's not good. Are they close by? Uh -huh. uh, are you saying you can help them? Is she on? Yes! They're just a bit. Along this path, please, you've got to help. Hello, sir. Hold on. Grab my it's tomatoes. My 
my wounds have closed up. You've saved me. Please, let me thank you. Crazy, it doesn't hurt anymore. Hmm. There's one other person up farther ahead. Would you mind taking a look at him? <sighs> Just look? Yeah, you'll uh, see what I mean once you find him. Huh. So, want us to look at this guy, a poet. Who the fuck? Kind of weird ass outfit. Should we really take this? Now, should I use an orange gel or should I just fucking rest? I hate camping out. Let's rest first. Why do you keep staring at me, Shion? Just what is that wolf on your shoulder? Oh, this thing? I love it! I got it off a street vendor for just 10 gold! I don't know if that's something to brag about. Hey, 10 gold's a bargain, if you ask me. Because it wouldn't sell otherwise. It serves no practical purpose. Honestly, I'm surprised you paid 10 whole gold for it. Shut up! But the detail is so lifelike. I think you made a good choice, Law. Really? I have no idea why you wear it over your shoulder, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Eighty-seven! Eighty-eight! Eighty-nine! Oh, shoot! What the? Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as it is. No, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. <laughs> Oh, I see how it is. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. Hmm. Maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Uh, Alfin, are you crazy? <clears throat> You're right. This does make for decent training. Good call with the extra weight law. Right? Now you get it? Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm down for that! Just give me a second, I'll be all ready to roll! Okay! I'm all set! Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! Ah! Our camp is completely wrecked! Fell. Go. <laughs> you two are cleaning it up. Yes, yes Shion. Shion. Um, we do need to cook some more. What? Oh, defense up. Alright. Heal CP after battle. That would be nice. Five minutes. I'll do the CP one. 
And let's talk to Rinwell. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Hoodle, come here, sweetie. Woo! Good boy. What are you doing? Uh, it's flying practice. Hoodle doesn't really like to leave my side, but if I don't make him spread those wings every now and then, they'll start to weaken. It's important he practices. Also, I'm pretty sure he put on some extra weight. Fat ass owl. Oh. Probably because everyone keeps sneaking him snacks when you're not looking. I knew it! I thought there was something fishy going on. Oh, it's really not good for birds to be overweight, you know? Oh, really? Ah, I'm sorry, Rinwell. You were feeding him too? You haven't been giving him anything he can't eat, have you? No, just candy I'm bars. I'm pretty sure everything I've given him has been okay. Just to be sure, though, why don't you tell me what he can't eat? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Is something the matter? No, no, not at all. It's just, for a really long time, Poodle was the only friend I had. So, on the one hand, it makes me really happy to see everyone be so accepting. But, on the other, it's a bit of an adjustment sharing him, you know? Every one of us can see that he's like family to you. I can promise no one's trying to ignore your feelings or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll talk to the others about it later. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold. All right, let's talk to this poet.